Welcome to this map tour corrections video. Um, things I got wrong with me, Mr. Sealy P. Welcome back to Sussex Farm. Um, I hope you'll accept my apology. I did part one and part two of my first look uh, with assistance from Jim. I had a ton of notes and let's just say mistakes were made. Not by Jim. <laughs> there's no need to point fingers it may or may not have been me um, I was trying to make sure I got everything in that I didn't make any mistakes and in doing so I made mistakes and I got a couple of things wrong uh, I've had a few comments I spoke to Jim um, and I thought you know what I need to rectify that um, because that was my fault and I, I don't want to kind of show it in a bad light so first thing um, what we'll do is show you where we are every time I'm <laughs> clarifying a mistake there shouldn't be too many we are at the main Sussex farm just here uh, when I did my first look I did say that the main silo here was linked to the silo at Plumpton farm up the road um, that silo is not linked the silo that is linked is your seed and fertilizer storage which is here that is linked to Plumpton farm because over at Plumpton farm there isn't a silo you can place one if you want to um, so that's mistake number one um, these are linked to Plumpton farm not the main silo I also didn't show the capacity uh, the capacity for this is 80,000 litres of seed fertilizer and you know all the various different good things that you might want um, so yeah I do apologize that was that's mistake number one uh, moving on we'll actually go over to Plumpton so here at Plumpton farm got the tomato beds I came over here and very stupidly did my usual um, I, I couldn't work out let's just put the lights on I couldn't work out uh, where the, the the tube the pipe was the auger was for getting stuff out of the silo it's not a silo for storage this is a cell point and you'd think the amount of times I looked in the main menu um, at all the various different cell points I would have realized the Plumpton farm was a cell point not a storage silo so that is a cell point not a storage silo and these are again these are kind of mirrored slightly to the ones that are over at the main Sussex farm there's your seed and, uh, seed and stuff and fertilizer liquid fertilizer these are the silos that are linked so if you put anything in that one and fill it up you'll have access to it this one here that was by mistake I did spend a bit of time which I did edit out because on FS17 this had a trigger you could turn the jets on and off for irrigation and I edited it out because I couldn't find them that was another mistake because as soon as you put water in this the various different points around the map the various different greenhouses for mushrooms and lemons uh, and here for tomatoes as soon as you put water in like so you get the animation the tomato plants grow, the animation comes on. It's the same down at the lemon uh, greenhouses just down the hill. There's no trigger for it, you can't turn it on and off. It comes on when there's water. When the water runs out, that turns off. So I apologise for that, I didn't show it, I didn't kind of explain properly. I made a bit of a gaff of that. Um, so that's up here at Plumpton. I don't think I missed anything else in there. Same, same happens with the one over here as well. I was asked a lot about triggers and um, whereabouts you can sell all the water now and has it changed from FS17? It has. There were a lot of triggers on FS17 for selling water. There was one at the garden centre, I think there was one at the pub. Um, there were a few dotted around the map and I think what Jim has done is removed some of those now because you can sell at the bottled water plant. Uh, you can Obviously all of the greenhouses will take water and you'll get paid an hourly rate so I think he removed some of those sell points because it, it became there were just too many I suppose um, so they were removed right next we have got I'm here at purified air purified air is on Sealy Lane of course it is why wouldn't it be Sealy Lane Sealy G Bakery just there and uh, Sealy P Brewery just down the road there uh, so we are on the map right here now I said on my first look that up here where you can get your free water 
you've got the free the water the purified water plant and you can get free purified water I said wrongly that's where you get your air from it's not the purified air comes from there where it says buy purified air that was again my mistake I had a couple of people saying we've I've been trying I can't figure out it won't work anyway that was my fault but again you do have to turn these on to get things out so what we'll do I need I need to reiterate as well because I think a few people either missed it I don't know whether people watched my first looks with the volume off or I, I really don't know if you do it's not going to help you very much um, to get things out of any of these you have to turn kind of the pump on so to speak it turns off automatically but that needs to be turned on plus for the air and the fuel and all those kind of things around the map you need to be using Jim's um, uh, Jim's modded trailers I'll show you, show you those in just a second in case you missed it uh, so if I press it now I can get my air from here it says there we go we are now filling up with air fantastic so that's our air as far as selling the air goes there are a couple of points to sell the air the one I showed you up the top here at the purified water plant and also down here at the scuba diving club they're the two places you can sell it um, unless you get any contracts for air which potentially you might uh, but what I was going to show you was if you didn't see it on the first looks this might be the first one you're watching I don't know in miscellaneous if you go right the way to the end Jim's got two modded tankers there the MKU-32 and the MKU-8 those are the ones you need to be using uh, because those ones will take air and they'll take the fuel from, from this map and they'll do all the various different things you need to um, so just again just a kind of word of warning I know a few people tried different trailers and couldn't get to work uh, next on my list oh yeah something I missed completely and I'm so sorry I missed this I'm here and where is here here on the map is the by slurry the slurry yard I completely missed it out I also missed out the racetrack and I do apologize for that the racetrack was there on FS17 but Jim has kind of enhanced it added a few bits and bobs on the cars down there aren't drivable we did say you know we was trying but it couldn't get to work but I did all this section here and completely missed the slurry yard so we are at the slurry yard the slurry yard you can buy slurry from here slurry out from the slurry pit should you want it but if you want to take it out you've got to put that on so you can actually remove it if you want to sell slurry you can sell it at this point here and if you want to sell manure yeah i think you can sell uh digestate as well there um and you get i think the rate for digestate is quite a bit higher as well it's not bad at all and you can also sell manure here um so yeah the slurry store i completely missed it um it was on my list and like I say, I think I got myself in a bit of a, a bit of a two and six, and uh, confused myself. There we go. Start overloading. It's not huge money in slurry, you know, at the end of the day, but it's money. If you've got surplus, you're not using it for fertilising. You might want to sell it. That's absolutely fine. That's entirely up to you. So next on the list oh yeah that was something I, I mentioned but didn't go into any more detail on and I should have done on the map we've got the little area that I went to uh, where are we actually yeah it's here isn't it the straw barn there uh, farmer Manu's um, straw barn and farm directly opposite was the little place actually you know what let's go there it's just easier isn't it let's visit we'll come out I've turn the collisions off so I should be able to go through the hedge fingers crossed yep was the little bit here where you can go in and they're doing gold mining and sometimes you get transport jobs for the gold mining and I did say on my first look Jim said don't try and buy this plot of land and I, I didn't explain any further than that so if we go on here and then click on that plot of land look at the price <laughs> 387 million 200 thousand to buy that plot obviously the gold in that mine is worth so much that so when you look at it on the scale of the plots around the thing um yeah that's a bit bonkers but that was the whole point when jim said don't try and buy it 
Um, so yeah, um, again, I thought I'd point it out because I didn't and I should have done. Uh, so I think that's pretty much everything I got wrong or made mistakes on. There's another thing I missed out. I did kind of mention it as I drove away, but I wanted to show it. So um, I will head over there in a moment and I will show you. I am round at the docks at the marina and the scuba club where you can bring the air is just there. Uh, we are hang on right here. We zoom out. The very southeast corner. I did mention the lighthouse. So when it gets dark the lighthouse comes on and there is a fog horn that sounds which you kind of heard at the very first part of this. Now, if you come to this box here, it says lighthouse power switch on and off. If I turn my little torch on, um, the actual lever does go as well. If I, if I turn the lever, circle, it turns off the lighthouse, turns off the foghorn. So if you find you're playing, it's dark and that's spinning around, if it's annoying you or, I don't know, the foghorn. Like I say, Jim tries to do it in a way that if there are things that are on there that are kind of clever little things he's added in, if you don't like them, you can remove them, you, you, you know, you can stop them, you don't have to have them on if you don't want to. I put it back on again, circle, and on it goes, and I, I didn't show that, um, I should have done. So um, I think, unless there's another video that pops up in the next few days of other mistakes I made, I think that covers the bits I got wrong, the mistakes I made, and the things I didn't show you, um, and I thought I really should just kind of rectify that problem. Um, I do apologise. So anyway, um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.